In this lab, we will use the procedure from lab 2.1. Let's find the density of three different liquids and predict how they will behave when mixed together. The three liquids we will use are vegetable oil, corn syrup, and water. Since the procedure tells us to use 25 milliliters of each liquid, we have our volume. Next, we need to find their mass. Mass the graduated cylinder on the electronic scale by itself. Then, after pouring 25 milliliters of vegetable oil in the graduated cylinder, mass it on the scale again. Subtract the original mass from the new mass to get the mass of just the liquid. Divide mass by volume to get its density. The answer should be around 0.93 grams per cubic centimeters. Now let's get the mass of just the corn syrup. Mass just the graduated cylinder on the electronic balance scale. Then after pouring 25 milliliters of corn syrup in the graduated cylinder, mass it again on the scale. Subtract the original mass from the new mass to get the mass of just the liquid. Divide mass by volume to get its density, and the answer should be around 1.6 grams per cubic centimeters. Pour the three liquids together and observe what happens. A density column is formed, with the least dense liquid at the top and the most dense liquid at the bottom. Let's now see what happens when we drop solid objects into the density column. We know from lab, lab 2 that the density of the copper cylinder is around 9.35 grams per cubic centimeters and that the nylon spacer's density is around 1.3 grams per cubic centimeters. This explains why the copper cylinder sinks to the bottom of the graduated cylinder and why the nylon spacer floats right on top of the corn syrup.